What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a traditional draft, Ravnica Allegiance. I think that's what we're going to do. And maybe we'll play some standard. I don't know. Maybe I'll be done after this. I don't know what's going on. I will purchase this item. I'm at Merbler. I'm an infant, is what you said. <laughs> I accept that. Um, can you give a shout out to these delicious tacos? Yo, Ancient Stirrings Tacos. Shout out, brah. So I'm going to let you guys pick. Do I get Ill-Gotten Inheritance or do I get Gruul Spellbreaker? What is the... What is the... Uh, do, 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 do. I don't actually know how to do that, though. How do you draft? How do you draft? How do you, uh, how do you make it so you guys can vote? I don't know. I don't know. All right, Spellbreaker is where you guys are at. Oh, and then we get a Grammy Boy. God, this card's so good. And there's nothing really in this pack that we're actually super concerned with. Maybe Scorchmark, but that's pretty much it. So I'm going to take the Ram. Sorrowfoam Hybrid is a choice green common. I will take that guy. I'm going to take that over the Titanic Pearl. I think it's harder to get uh, two drops. And also, since we're in Gruul, we can easily get the Savage, Savage Blast. Whatever that card is. Simic Guildgate is an option? Mm. It's probably Simic Guildgate over any of these mediocre guys. I could take Mammoth Spider. Mammoth Spider is actually very, very good. Oh, Gateway Plaza. All right, we're going to take Gateway Plaza over any of the red or green cards in this pack for sure. Gateway Plaza is a nice way to splash anything you ever want. Oh, another Styrofoam Hybrid. Yeah, that guy's good. Oh, Gruel Guildgate? Perfect. Perfect. This is actually the perfect draft right now. All I have to do is open two Rhythm of the Wilds, make sure we draw we open we we draw neither one of them in any of the any of the games. And uh then we're good to go. Uh, I don't love Wrecking Beast. I think seven mana is a little expensive, but it's probably the only thing I'd play in that pack. It takes stony strength here. Sometimes a plus one plus one counter is all you need. Take carry an imp in case we're black. Eh, same thing for this guy. I don't foresee it, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Take you out, take you out, take you out tonight. I'm gonna put you in the side barn and take me out tonight. All right. Oh, a gutter bones. The gutterest of bones. This pack's actually so bad that I kind of just want to take the Gruel Guild Gate here, especially with a Gatebreaker Rammy, Rammy boy. I'm going to take the Gruel Guild Gate. If John Lennon is to be believed, love is all you need, but I ain't never ate a, ate a love sandwich. That's true. I also have never eaten a love sandwich. I don't actually know what that is. Target your Mungo Juice Camp Locks. 2 2 for, two, two for 3 or a 1 1 for 3. Card's good. I think it's probably better than Titanic Brawl here. We also don't have that many creatures. Ooh, a Bullrack and a Frenzied Erinx. Did one of you guys think one was better than the other? I think someone said Bullrack was probably worse than Frenzied. Maybe that's true. I'm not actually sure. Also, Scare the Critics. I think one of these four cards will come back, which would be nice. I mean, 4444 is just pretty good. We also don't have many cards that are going to have counters on them. I think we have, like, Wrecking Beast, maybe. Gruel Spellbreaker, probably. And eh, we have double hybrids, though. All right, we'll take the Aranx. I don't know if that's great, but... This is a nice sideboard card. These are both decent Simic cards. We can also take the Gruel Gate. The Gruel Gate... The, the Rakdos Guild Gate is what we're saying here. Um, and then it makes, like, if we get get the points, uh, it makes them a little stronger. We don't have a Titanic Brawl yet. I would like a Titanic Brawl. Oh, is it Archway Angel? I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's probably, like, Blade Juggler or Noxious Grudion. Swirling Torrent is so good. I'm going to take the Swirling Torn. I think it's probably going to be easier to splash Simic than it is Gruul. And we also have uh, Gruul Guildgate. 
steeple creep. Also, racketeers. I, I like racketeers a lot, actually. I mean, I think it's rare that this is going to ever connect. It's a, it's only a 3-2 for 5. But the Afterlife 2 is great, and also making them discard a card if it does connect is great. We also have Consign to the Pit. We don't have that many expensive cards. Put you in the sideboard for now. It might just be Racketeers or Consign. I want to take Racketeers here. I think it's a really strong card. I think this card is actually fine. It's just a 3-3 three, three for 3, which is not great. What's Brawl? Brawl is super strong in the Gruel deck. What is Brawl? Grasping Thrall is nice. Oh, Titanic Brawl? Yeah, sure, for sure. God, Grasping Thrall is great, but like we're not splashing black and white here, so... Could just be Gift of Strength. I don't think we want another Carrying Imp, but I'll probably play a single Gift of Strength. Dead Revels could be fine. Nice getting back to beefy Gruel Boys. Uh, Gruel Guild Gate number three. Eh, sure, just in case. This guy's fine. If unexciting, eh, I'll take a Noxious Gruden, actually. Verity Circle. All right, not what we're looking for in the Savage Smash is pretty gas. Plus two, plus two, and a little fighty boy is... I'll play some okay being. Huh. Another Mammoth Spider could be nice. I do like Mammoth Spider better than these two, especially because we're base green, obviously. I don't think we need a third Gruel Guild Gate, but if we find another Rakdos Guild Gate, it might make things easier. Oh, Sunder Shaman? Also, Skewering and Scorchmark might come back, but they didn't last time, so they're probably it's probably unlikely. But this card is just pretty ridiculous in the in the I was gonna say in the Gruel deck, but any deck that can play it is just great. Here's a get to point. I think we're probably just taking the get to point. We don't have a ton of removal. And it's probably better than Collision Colossus here, especially if we have other pump spells, so. Mm, this pack is not great. Another 3-3 three, three for 3, which is fine. How many 3 drops do we have? Ram, Clammy Boy, Spellbreaker, and Rubble Runner. Yeah, I mean... Sure. I don't think anything else in this pack is playable, really. Eh, Simic Guildgate. This is like the best card in the pack, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll take the Simic Guildgate. Chillbringer was nice, but here's another Simic Guildgate, which means we might actually be able to play like the black card off of it, the or the blue, the swirling torn off of it. We also only have one Rakdos Guildgate, but if we have double Simic Guildgate, we can probably. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, another Rakdos Guildgate. And nothing else really in this pack that I would take. So, all right. We're just going to err on the side of... Two Simic Guildgates, eh? Two drops, fine, but unimpressive. Another Gruel Guildgate. I don't think we have the gate deck is the problem. Like, we're just... Have a bunch of gates. One, two, three, four, five, six... So we're going to have to bring in Dead Revels here. So we don't have a Gift of Strength. We do have one Gift of Strength. I don't think we want a second Gift of Strength. Another consigned to the pit. Uh, I actually don't have one. Actually, I like that. That's that's a nice playable. That's a nice little perk. And this guy's fine. Just about sideboard. Trumpeter sideboard and deface. All right. Sure. Okay. So 41 cards. We can easily cut the Feral Maka, I think. Splashing black for... Eh, we can cut a dead Revels, I guess. I don't think we want two of them. Oh, cancel. Also, our mana base is probably terrible because they always over... Uh, this is one, two, three, four, ten green sources. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five. Actually, this is not terrible. Huh. 
Huh. So red is the middle though. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, actually three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus six, seven, eight, nine, ten versus black. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that actually seems really good. Okay. You got me. How many creatures are we looking at here? 15? Nice. A nice amount. Um, yeah, maybe we just play the Arrow of the Feral Lock after all. We have a Stony Strength and a Gift of Strength. All right, yeah. What the heck? I don't think this deck is backbreaking by any means, but... first uh this is definitely keepable I don't wanna let you go this is a like let's play this guy you go uh no blocks I don't feel like taking one from that little dude well that's unfortunate well that's unfortunate Herman Miller here again couldn't help noticing you integrates weren't buying my chairs I thought we had an understanding what was our understanding Mr. Miller Gee, Mr. Miller. God, I really would love... I would love some lands here, but I mean, I, you know, I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to ask for a fourth land on turn four or five. I think that's a bit much. And I don't want to miss a thing. Oh, look, now they're like, all right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop attacking you. Yep, I guess we'll just play this. Like, they both have Death Touch now, so it's kind of obnoxious. Let's no attacks over here. Hey, that's pretty good. No attacks here. Who needs to attack anyway? I feel like attacking is for babies. I mean, I have the joy of trample, so I'm like, I'll attack and I'll deal you two whole damage. Take your two damage. Take your two damage like an adult. You child.
Oh boy. Well, that's something, isn't it? I have, wow, that was, you got it. Cause I don't wanna miss a thing. I hate you, Elk Tears, I hate you, dude. Actual hatred. Yes, let the hatred flow through you. Um, I kind of just want to kill one of these death touch guys. Probably the cat, right? Like, it's a weird feeling, but like... We could also play Sundering Shaman, one, two, three, four, and do nothing else. I guess play maybe Styrofoam. One, two, we play a green, yeah, we're good, then we're good if we do that. But they don't really have anything. I want to be able to... Uh, boop and boop. Um, so you have a one... One dude, we're just gonna trade with something, right? So this is fine. This is all fine. Where did my spider go? Oh, they exiled it? Wow, that has... You have no soul. Well, the spider doesn't either because he got exiled. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Oh, interesting. One, two, three, four, five. So, oh, this guy can't even do anything. I forgot. Dang. Oh, Sundering. Oh, all right. This guy actually is, is decent here. So we can actually go... Let's go Spider and Feral Maka. Uh, no attacks. Could have attacked first, gotten some damage in. Probably should have done that. Oh, boy. Cause I don't. This gives reach. That's pretty good. So we got block here. We take two, four, five. We get a one. That's no good. Pass two attackers. Herman Miller, I don't need any of your assassin support. Oh, by the way, I'm holding your replacement chair wheel right now. It looks... I don't even need a replacement chair wheel, though. I don't know how to beat these guys. We had two spiders and they did not work to our advantage. Um, do we have anything else we can bring in? We can actually bring in carrion imps here, I think. It's probably the two life and the flyer are better than the uh like axe bane idiot.
That seems okay. It's probably probably fine like that. I will play first. Uh, no green, but we have 10 green sources. So that's like a 1 in 3 chance of hitting a green. I'm okay with that. Hey, I'm okay with that. Hey, that's not a green. Mind step throw. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Hey, that's not a green. He he was upset about it too. He was like, oh no. Hey, that's not a green either. All right, we're doing we're doing poorly. <laughs> choose to die first or play first. Uh I'll I'll choose to die first. That's a good trade. I'll I'll trade three one life link for two two. Hey, that's not a green either. All right. It's going to be one of those drafts, boys. Like 10 sources. Here's the here's the funny thing, guys. Um, anytime there's like any kind of... Maybe it's because you're playing three colors nonsense, right? 10 sources of green is more gr sources of green than you play in a normal two-color deck. In a normal two-color deck, your, current your, your ordinary distribution is nine sources of one land, eight sources of another land. So you have a nine-eight distribution. 10 sources of green in your three color deck is actually more sources of green than you would play in a two color deck. So. Shrug. It was a green card. Oh, wait, I can't do that. So I. Next, you're going to have to discard. You're right. We're also going to have to take seven here. Yep, congratulations. You you have won the game due to a uh, skillful battle. Yeah, there's been times where I'm actually kind of on the fence. Also, I changed my avatar to Jace instead of Karn. There have been times where I've been uh, on the fence about the arena, the shuffler. Like, it's definitely, like, I usually don't like to give into, like, conspiracy theories or, like, be super, like, the shuffler is broken. But, like, there's definitely something going on sometimes. Maybe it's not an all-the-time thing, but... I think the fact that you have to give this explanation on a near weekly basis explains your horrible luck. Oh my god, yes. I think that's a good point. Do you ever drafting on MTG Arena? Um, I think they're both fine. I enjoy both of them. Um, I enjoy Arena because all the things... I don't feel bad when I pass like a Blood Crypt or something. On MTGO, there is, it's nice if you open like a Hydroid Crassus and it's worth like 30 tickets. That's cool. Um... I really don't, like, I seriously have zero issue with whether it's bots or drafting against seven other random people in a league. Like, I don't think those are huge issues. I really, I think both are fine, and I, would, I, I really have no problem doing either. Hey, little Rammy. Just hypothetically about that Crassus, though? How do you mean? I mean, I did open one in the last draft. I, unless, I can't tell if you're being, I can't tell if you, you're referring to that and making a little joke. You gotta be doing that, right? Is this card good? Oh, God, they have Smothering Tide and they have Emergency Powers. Wow. Is the card called Emergency Powers? I don't even know. Whatever, you can have your stupid thing. I'm not gonna play two. I mean, it's just better to play 3-4 instead of 3-3 three, three here, so. 
just making a little joke. Yeah, yeah, that's never happened to me before. But I can imagine if someone opened a Hydroid Crisis on Magic Online, you'd be very thrilled because you're like, wow, this is worth a lot of tickets. Hopefully I can play this in my matches and it will win me some games. That's what we did. That's what we did. I'm going to blame work for the badness of the joke. That's fair. I accept your... I accept your blaming work. Well, I've played a whole lot of Arena, and some, I can tell you sometimes the Shuffler is just effed up. I don't think that's impossible. Hey, little Shuffler, what have you done? Hey, little Shuffler, who's the only one? Hey, little Shuffler, shotgun! It's a nice day to get flooded. It's a nice day to get mana screwed. I'm actually at a point where I could just play this. Um, now you can have your token. Look at your little treasure. This is an interesting. I'll decline. You can have multiple treasures. Multiple little treasures. Um, okay, so. Hey, little biscuit. What have you done? The bridge tournament using computer randomization shuffles all the pro bridge players thought they were f fishy because extreme draws appeared more than they expected. This wasn't because the randomizer was bad because even though amongst the pro bridge players, poor shuffling led to actually less random or flat. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, humans are... I mean, computers are always going to be better at randomizing something than humans are. And... The problem is when, when you rely on that randomization to actually play your games... This is interesting because it doesn't actually kill anything, right? Like all these guys, sure, it's a, it's a one you block here with like these two, okay. Oh, so I get to kill. I get to kill. And then I get to kill this one too. I would have probably blocked with the one two because then you have one two and a three two. So you're dealing four and it only has one. So there's no there's no way that like you're not able to finish it off. Oh, they use their two. They use their two treasures last turn. That's pretty fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we can either play this guy or not play this guy. They have three total power. So if they want to trade here and just take a million, that's totally fine. I think I'm gonna give you one more because one, two, three, four, five, six. You still won't have enough to. Uh, you still won't have enough to cast your guy next turn. Your emergency powers. Emergency. Powers. Hey, little shotgun. Hey, little shuffler shotgun. I don't know what I'm saying right now. It's like a Billy. It's like a Billy Idol magic shuffler mashup. Uh, one and two. Three, four, five. I could see no attacks here. Alright, so you still have five mana. You're still way, way 
below the the emergency powers line. Also, we're at a point where we can just pay for this every turn. That's fine. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, one, two. We're just gonna keep playing lands because we don't. A, we're, they're gonna make us. They're gonna play emergency powers at some point and make us uh, draw seven cards. So, if we the the fewer cards we have, the better. And also, I want to be able to have as many triggers as I can to not let them get a bunch of treasures. Yep. All right, so I think this guy's pretty much stabilized the board for them. But we do have a, a consign and a get the point, right? And actually, even a f even the savage stomperino. I don't know what that. I don't know what it's called, but yep, double spiders are pretty good against this. Well, we only have one creature, so I'm not like in the business of playing a dead rebel without anything on the board. <sighs> this guy can also get bigger, but not right now. Everything trades with everything else except for this guy. So it's actually very possible for us to alpha. They kill. They can probably kill one thing. We can get it back. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, we can actually. They're at five. Let's actually put their feet to the fire here a little bit. Because, like, they have to just make trades here, and we get two of these guys back. One, two, three, four... Okay. Okay. Uh, we're definitely going to kill the Skitter Eel because it gets bigger. And we're definitely going to kill this because... Obvious reasons. Uh, I will pay two. Let's get back Spider and Gate Breaky Boy. It's better use of mana. And it, this guy's not going to hold any of these dudes back, but this guy will hold back these guys. So, so I basically traded a Mammoth Spider and a Dead Revels for Sphinx Skitter Eel. No blocks. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And no attacks. All right. Well, could have actually attacked with like these two. Yeah, then they just double block spider. It's not great. Five degrees here. Jeez. One, to who? This guy. I don't know what your last card is. I'm really looking forward to a removal spell here, guys. Any removal spell at all. Well, not anyone, because then we're going to draw something. I mean, if we had, like, a Skewer the Critics and we can just shoot them in the face, 
What's their last card? It's got to be like nothing, right? It's got to be. It can't be emergency powers. They would have played that for sure. One, two. We're just going to keep playing cards. We, do, we don't want to have anything in our hand when they go emergency powers because we want to be able to draw all our cards and not have to discard anything. So, Emergency powers was the last opponent? We're not. This is not the same opponent? Are you sure? Wait, this is game one. Oh my god, you're right. What was I thinking? Wow, oh my god, you're totally right, dude. Wait, I wanna... What's going on? Do I have to, like... Do I have to resolve it? And then... In, okay. There we go. They could have it too, though. I guess that's true. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, we're just gonna go haste and we're gonna alpha here and see if this does anything. I mean, all of our creatures are super strong. The only thing you can actually keep alive is Lumbering Battlement. Wow. That was last round. That's so weird. I was really... I feel like I blacked out. I mean, they have to have two removal spells in order to actually profitably block anything here. Because everything else is going to die. 5-5 five, five to 3-3. Three, 3-4 three, three, to 3-3. Three, 3-5 three, 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 to 3-3. Three, 4-4 three. Four, four has Trample. 4-4 four, four to 1-1, one, one, but it has Trample. And then you still have to block 6-6. Six, six. So if you bounce this, you still die here. That will do. That See, that was a nice good game. They lost, and they still said GG. That's okay. Need a little help here. Should me and my girlfriend order Hungry Howie or make Dorito ta make Dorito tacos? How often do you have the opportunity to to do those things? I would base it on opportunity. So if you can order Hungry Howies when you get back home as well, I would order Hungry Howies now. Or if you can't order it, rather, I would order it now. Uh, however, if you can make Dorito tacos in either place, I would I would order Hungry Howies now. I guess I don't know. It definitely depends on which are. If you're able to do only one of them while you're in Florida, I would do that that one. Yeah, we still have... We have a Get the Point. We have a Consign to the Pit. We had... Uh, we still had a Savage Smash in the deck, I believe. And also a lady. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Hey, little the shotgun. It's a nice day for a gravel hide goblin. It's way on the other side of town, though, so I usually just go with jets. Yeah, that's fine. That's a reasonable compromise. You got it. You got Smash Smashington over here. Kind of attack there. I'm, I feel like I give up a lot of value on, on MTG Arena for some reason. About to use my bidet and saw you were on. <laughs> oh, cheese whips. Glad, glad you could think of us while you, right before your bidet time. Um, 
Let's go to next. Next. I got one eye. Oh, that did it. Yep. Are you doing your Turkish amphetamines again? I don't want to talk about it, but yes, I am. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go to damage. You want to pump this guy? I dare you. Slime bind. So now you're out of pumpage? Interesting. That's fine. We traded a slime bind and a skitter eel for a three four and a Titanic brawl. Like this guy was gonna be a five five, so All right. So we can actually go land, pump this guy. It sucks that this has vigilance because now they get, they're not penalized for not attacking or for attacking. Oh, no attack with this guy. I like it. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. Well. Oh, wow. That'd be great if we had a... What's known as a black mana. No reach? None of these guys have reachems? All right. Well. After all this is over, go to the big tree by the barn in Maine, get the money, and meet me in Mexico at the beach. There's a, is it under a rock, a, 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 an earthly rock that has no, or a, a black rock that has no earthly business being there? Do you want to specifically go to San Juanteneo? Where is that spider at when you need him? Why, yes, it is. And yes, I do. All right, then. All right, then. So they have one mana. So actually, if we attack with this and this, what is this? Six and six? It's twelve. They actually have to block at least one. And then we have a blocker for this guy. Yeah, they have to block at least one of these guys. So they might just double block one of them and take six. Which is still fine. Like we're we can't block this guy, so we might as well put all, as much pressure. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Oh. Well, I got a block here. And they got two blockers. Oh. They got three blockers. That's a good choice. Oh, this guy's trampled, doesn't he? Woof. Big trample. I think we win here. We have nine power in trample, so you have to put three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all nine in front of these guys. That's not true. That's not how that works. Cat sit and sit and do do. All right, so you're gonna take three from that guy. You block here. Boom, 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 boom. You gotta block here. This guy can't go uncontested, my dude. My dude. Wait, okay, so yeah, so we're gonna go stony on this dude. Exaxes. Alright, we did it. One win. That's all we need. Now we can now we can retire undefeated. Except that we already lost one, so we can retire defeated. It's not the same. It's not as good. MF cheese. Motherfucking cheese. Is that what that stands for? Uh, you know what? I'll keep this hand because any land lets us play this. We have all the colors we need. We're not going to hit it, are we? We got two turns to draw one land. Gateway Plaza off the top. All right, well, we did it. We're living that kind of that, that dream right now. Don't play any. This is a third Azorius deck in a row. Is that true? That's a yikes for me, dog. I'm going to counter this with my spell and put your lands in the graveyard. All right, whatever. Hope you're proud of yourself. You were supposed to come up two turns ago, my dude. If we had a three drop, I would probably play that first because it plays around quench. But like the fact that we don't have a three drop means, yeah, that's fine. Get rid of all those stupid cards. Oh, we could have played Orzhov Racketeers, which is probably better. But I'm also glad it didn't get countered. So, okay, they're gonna keep missing lands, I guess. Same same principle. If they have quench, we can't play around with these guys, so we might as well just play into it. <sighs> This is getting obnoxious. Of course, they keep having actual counterspell, which they would use on these anyway, so. I like that they're missing land drops. They've missed, like, four land drops, but they don't really, uh... How about a third Thought Collapse? Wow. Wow. Cat Beast? Regular cat. This one has evolved. He's taken on a new form. Guildgate? More like Guild Late, am I right? You are right. You actually are correct. Wow, the, uh... Huh. EOT Fairy Duelist. Fascinating. All right. I mean, I have a Titanic Brawl in hand, which is basically a two-for-one. Also, I've got the point, which is also a two-for-one. I don't know. I understand what... I don't... This is a... This is a play I'm not extremely familiar with. I'm not familiar with this one. That definitely did seem like an odd choice. We can actually stony strength this guy if they block here and then kill this guy too. That seems insane.
If they double block, it's just a massacre, like an utter massacre. Hmm, fascinating. It's actually not bad. I don't think we need it though. <laughs> nice. Now it all it's all making sense now. One hundred snubbed by Watsy Bucks. Yeah, what can you do? It's funny because there's a bunch of people on that list I've never heard of. And it's not like it matters that I've heard of them, but I think there's a bunch of people that few people have heard of. Really? This is an interesting block. That spider was knock, 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 knocking at Sky God's door. Oh, a little 5-5, five, five. okay. So we can actually attack with both of these. No, this actually... Well, if they block, then they're taking this. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They go to 3 if they block here. If we play this and they block here, they take 4, 5, 6, 12. We do lose a guy, though. Oh, we don't actually have the mana for that, so I'm a dummy. I'm a dumb dumb. I've heard of them from Hearthstone. Oh, no, no, we're not, we're not even talking about them. I was just talking about some of the other players on that list. Uh, yeah, now we're going to have to pump, so you made me use my mana this turn. But now we have lethal on board, plus a 6-6, six, six, so. Get down the pine cone. <laughs> nah, B. Oh, a 2-2 two, two instead of a 3-2. Actually worse with your high alert. I got you. Another 2-2. Two, two. Wow. Your creatures are actually terrible with high alert right now. Still don't have enough mana for that guy. Alright. Just checking. It's funny because you could actually double block this guy if you had uh if these guy if you didn't have high alert and you could actually trade. So you have no cards. We don't have to. We don't have to show you anything else. Okay. And this is after they what countered four things. Thought thought three things. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate having some good fun. Um, 
So actually, I think I lied to you guys. I've been talking about how green doesn't have any enchantment removal in this format. I totally forgot that a double, double, double red, double black, double, double red, double green card actually does kill enchantments as long as it can deal damage. So, my bad. <laughs> We're like, yeah, I'll play this guy. Oh, I can't play this guy. Yeah, I'll play this guy. Oh, I still can't play this guy. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Why do I have knocking on heaven's door stuck in my head? Can anyone, can anyone find the origins of that? Unsubscribe on my gifted... Wait, what did I... Oh, I lied to you about that. Dang it, you're right, I did. I'm going to keep this hand. This hand looks real good. Oh, they mulliganed? Basically did. Wow, that was a good draw. I believe the origin was Bob Dylan. Touche. Touche, as the kids might say. I'm actually afraid of their counter spells. I kind of just want to play 3-3, three, three, but it doesn't do anything because this guy has Vigilance now. So what we're going to do is we're going to play Guild Gate. Actually, maybe we just play this. We smash this guy next turn. Because there's still a chance that we hit a land. So I'm going to try to get around a counter spell here. Oh, you're just going to bounce my guy. That's real mature. No blocks. I'll go to 11. They don't have double blue for the counter spell, which is pretty sweet. I'd like to hit a land so they can't quench our Savage Smash, but... You want to be surprised if Ill-Gotten gets banned unlimited? Yeah, no, that's never happening. It's not that good. It's good. It's not that good. Huh. Well, huh. Was not a land. I guess we actually don't need to fight here is the thing. Yeah, like actually now we have an unblocked 4-4 four four or un un untapped 4-4, four four, so I think we're actually okay. Sure. Am I getting free points in there? They have two cards? Yeah, this is this is pretty good. You got it, but without the high alert, like this is not as good. They have vigilance and you still didn't attack? Oof. That's a good sign. Well, if you thought I had it last time. Whoop. 
You got it. I gave value to your quench. That's fine. Now, now you attack. Real mature. And they're at a point where they kind of have to just risk the block here, so it's not even really a bluff. Um, Racketeers, probably better than Spider at this juncture, because if they trade, if they want to block here... Yeah, so they're just basically dead. Unless they play a blocker, in which case, they are not dead. These are the noises that we make. I will claim these prizes. All right, 2-1. Sorry to hit you didn't get the invite, thanks. Cloud Sprint, thanks so much for saying so, man. I really appreciate it. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's just disappointing, because I don't know. I wish there was a metric that you could go by and be like, oh, this is why these people got invited. This is what you have to do to get invited. Instead, it's just totally random. So like, you feel like all the hard work you're putting in is kind of just for nothing. So it's just a weird feeling. It's really weird to like devote so much time and 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 effort and passion into one specific game only to then kind of like just be ignored when it comes to that that game and the things you do within it. But Honestly, the problem with your content is that consuming it is more fun than playing Magic at times, which I imagine cuts into Big Magic's profits. Wow. I don't know about all that, but I do appreciate you saying so, my dude. Juposhi, you are a, a gentle, a gentle, generous soul. This guy's actually just... Oof. You didn't get the invite? No, no, I did not. I don't stream enough. I only stream five to six days a week. So I, if I hit the seven, I, I'd probably be in better shape to uh, to get the invite. So JK. All right, so we need one one green source. Twitch Twitch followers, name recognition, and demographics. I don't think that's true because like someone literally said, well, maybe demo maybe follow our demographics, but like I mean, somebody said like one of the one of the people who was invited had literally five hundred ninety two channel views on Twitch. We're not talking about uh, followers. We're not talking about subscribers. We're talking about channel views. So like. Doesn't seem like a lot, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I just, I don't feel like, hey, we're gonna invite you to a million dollar tournament with 500 channel views? Like, a million dollars? Like, Right, but the other two don't count for that. Like, name recognition, you're not going to have... If you have 592 fo views on Twitch, you don't have name recognition. You don't have Twitch followers. You have one. You have demographics. That's that's all you have. And that's not even... That might not even... And is that even true? Like, if you still have 590, don't you not have a... Dem don't you not have a demographic? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to criticize anyone. Like, I'm not... I never wanted it to be, like, a... I have no ill will toward anyone who was invited. I think it's a cool event and I hope everyone does well and has a great time. Um, I'm just trying to figure out like what the criteria was because it's very, very fascinating. And to be quite honest, like when you stream as much as I do, um, it's kind of a spit in the face.
Like if you have if you have Titanic Brawl, it's just really bad. Why did you put the cheaper guy back in my hand? The 2 2 instead of the 3 3. That's fascinating. Can a dude get a green source? He cannot. He can get a 4 4, though. That's pretty good. And I couldn't find her channel, so maybe it is a mix of demographics and the companies who sponsor them. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely possible. Yep, that was a good one. That was a good one. Green source one time. Green source. Thank you. You have another trick? Do you have another trick up your little tricky sleeve? Looks like you do. Might just double block here. If they leave us with a 4 4, it's fine. If they leave us with a 2 3, it becomes a 6 6, it's fine, so. Andrew L. Ellen Bogan. I, I actually don't know who that is. Like, this is fine, because I'm like, I'm not going to go to 1 here. But any land lets us pump this guy. Well, not that land, I guess. So I'm actually kind of just going to kill this dude. Play the gate. Actually, I don't need any more... Yeah, this guy's fine. It's a body. It's not a great body, but... Just draw land. Or a bad creature. Okay. Ellen Bogan. Okay. But, like, why are you inviting... Like, I don't know. It's whatever, man. It's whatever. And this is why I'm glad we didn't actually spend the mana to, to do this, to, to pump this guy, because... Oh, all right. Oh, never mind, wrong name. Well, okay. Fan fascinating. It's weird when we're having a discussion, like, who are the people that were invited again? I forgot. Who are they? I don't know. I don't know. I think I may have heard of this guy. I'm not sure. They have a lot of tricks. They have a lot of, like, plus one, plus ones. But so do we. Like, we have Stony Strength, Gift, and Titanic Brawl, which all I think are pretty good. I'll keep it. No gates. If we can top deck a gate. Oh, they let us go first. Fascinating. Still take a top deck gate, I guess. Okay. Well, that's not a gate. This is the weakest ram I've ever seen. That's a 2-2. Okay, well. Right, that's what I was that's what I was gonna get at. I'm like if they was if he's like a Pro Tour champion, like why is he in the why is he in the invite like the 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 featured pool and not the like pro pool, you know? Like that's that was my question. But I stopped myself because I'm like, what's the point? There's no point in asking really. I mean I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. If they wanna recognize me, they can. If they don't, they don't have to. 
I don't think it's uh, I, I think it's kind of silly. I don't think it makes any sense, but you know, we have different opinions and people have different opinions, you know. He's not high enough. He's not ranked high enough. So it's like, hey, here's a complimentary, uh, you know, you'll get there eventually. So here you go. We'll just give you a freebie. We'll put you in the in the other pool. Uh, does this do anything as a 5-5? Five five? Yes, it is. Because we can't go pump. That's brutal. One recognition book. Kerwood, thank you so much, buddy. You are a hero and a scholar and a gentleman. And Herman Miller. Got him. Got him. No attacks. Also, there's a history of ignoring what its fan base wants, so it comes to no surprise to me, sadly. Yeah, well. Anyway. Anyway. Quench. I have so many quenches. You don't have the quench? Oh, they're going to untap it. I'm so bad at this game. God, I hate myself. Yep, I deserve to lose. There's a lot of things going on. Oh, God. Magic is like the hardest game you could ever play. Oh, so bad. So bad. Sure. Under the rainbow, way up high. Should have attacked first on this, and then we can stony silence and untap and still have a blocker, but we're not going to block this guy. Me too, dude. Me too. They're at nine. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this guy has trample, which is nice. And we could also consign if they play a blocker. So, one hundred Frank is not a butt munch, but it's nice. Oh man, I love that butt munch meme. Yep, 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 yep. I hope we draw a land. I hope we draw an untapped land here. It's not an untapped land. Five, six, seven, eight. We're so close to just killing. I mean, if they have swirling and they just put these two on top, we're dead, right? But we had nothing else to do here. We can keep one blocker back to just get eaten, but... Yeah, obviously. Never don't have it. I want to play my land first, though, because I want to have a, a six land in play uh, right before I immediately win the game. Good times. Good times. Always a pleasure. Oh, never don't have it. <laughs> Just like, it's an uncommon. You could not have it in your in your hand right now at this exact moment. All I, I need a six land. I have less likelihood of hitting a six land than you do of hitting your one of six six mana card. So... Yep, mulligan that. That's even worse. That is, let's go to five here in game three. Fantastic. I would have just kept the first hand. I would have had three more spells. Yeah. Cool. 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 I mean, to be fair, if we can hit four lands in a row, I think we got a game here. Yep.
it's just sad that this is how the game ends. Like, okay. If we had a six land, we could have consigned, killed our one creature. Then it doesn't matter if they put our guys on top. But... Anyway. Yep. Pretty discouraging. Eight hundred, so a loss of seven hundred points. Let's open these packs. I also got one Ravnica Guilds of Ravnica booster for my my placement last season, a blood operative. That guy's fine. Oh, Captive Audience, a card I am excited to build around, so I don't mind pulling that as a Mythic, to be quite honest. I'm waiting for a deck from Josh, and uh, while we're opening these, thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. If you're on Twitch, I'm not leaving, I'm just ending this video, but uh, you can check me out on Twitch and Patreon, both of those links are in the description below, in the YouTube description below. You can also check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore, and you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Those help me out a lot, despite what you think. And you can hit the little bell and you get notifications whenever I whenever I post a new video. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.